Hi Workaholics, welcome to my YouTube channel on our first recipe. Today we will start with a star dish, the one I have cooked so many times that I could do blindfolded. Get ready for a Spanish omelette. The Spanish omelette or tortilla de patatas has its origin in Spain. It is true that the Spanish omelette can be found in different countries in Latin America, but even though the specific location hasn't been determined, we can say that the origin was Spain. In fact, legend says that General Tomás de Zumalacárregui invented it in 1835 during the first siege of Bilbao. That was in order to provide a nutritious meal to his soldiers. To do our Spanish omelette, you will need two onions, two medium white potatoes, six medium eggs or seven depending on the size of the eggs, extra virgin Spanish olive oil and salt. The typical potato used for the Spanish omelette is the Kennebec variety. If you're able to find it, that is great, but do not despair. Typical British white potato are just fine. Also, you can use whichever olive oil you want, or even some flour oil, or butter if you dare. But for a proper result, we strongly recommend the use of Spanish extra virgin olive oil. The utensils that we will use are a small knife to peel and cut the potatoes, a big knife to cut the onions, and we will need also a cutting board to cut them, then we will have also a whisk for the eggs and a bowl to mix everything. Then we will have a pan to fry the ingredients that will have its own lid. We will need also a wooden spatula and finally a plate to serve. First of all, peel the onions. Then with a big knife, mince the onions. We peel the potatoes. And then we wash the potatoes a little bit. Now, to cut the potatoes, there are many options. We recommend cutting them in a way that no piece is equal. Put some extra virgin Spanish olive oil into the pan and heat it up at a medium level. Once the oil is hot, we add the onion and we cook it until it becomes a little bit transparent. Once they are transparent, we add the potato. And if necessary, we add more olive oil. Add some salt.
and once everything is mixed, we cover with the lid. Check from time to time and steer over to avoid the mix to burn. Repeat that as many times as necessary until the potato can be easily pierced with a fork. Put the pan aside and cover with a lid. Now open the eggs and pour them into a bowl. Add a spoonful of salt and whisk it. We want to whisk the eggs until they create a layer of foam in the top and they raise a little bit. We do this to add air to the omelette and make it more fluffy. Once the eggs are ready, we put the onion and the potatoes inside the bowl and we mix it with the egg by making light movements with the spatula. Now put some oil in the pan again and heat it at a medium level. Once hot, put the mix into the pan and equally spread it. Cover the pan with the lid and check the tortilla from time to time while giving shape to the edges. Once the tortilla surface is cooked on the edges, we take the pan with the lid on and get ready to flip the tortilla. If it's the first time you're doing this, we would recommend you to do it over the sink. Actually, I always do it over the sink, you never know. Now slide the tortilla back into the pan and put it back to the stove. We will leave it for a short time to make sure its base is cooked and then it's only a matter of serving in a dish. This dish is considered to be the start in tapas and also in finger for buffet. If we were to have it as a normal meal, we would have it as a main course, served with a light appetizer. And we normally serve it with red wine, that is the thing that we commonly see most. When you go to the supermarket and select a red wine, be careful and make sure that there is a second label underneath the, at the, at the bottom of the, of the bottle, because it states the origin. Also when serving red wine, well actually any wine, make sure that you don't fill the whole cup. Wine needs to breathe. Um, and also a fun fact is that uh, Spanish chefs, they recommend a different drink, not red wine for Spanish tortilla, they recommend fino. So with this we finish our first recipe. I hope you enjoy the videos that we'll be posting on this channel. And if you like this video, you can always press the like button under it. Also, if you want to check the recipes, you can always go to my blog, cookaholicstheblog.blogspot.co.uk and I welcome any comments, suggestions, anything you want to make. Thanks for watching and see you Gogaholics! And now it's time to eat!